We've got quite a few things to do this week, which I'm excited about. Oh, steamy. Really happy with this. and sent off these draft designs for approval to um, the fish and chip shop that I'm going to be doing some work for. I've just heard back from the owners and they're very happy. I'm going to go over there tomorrow to collect the boards and start work on those. But now it's about half ten on a Sunday, done the work for the day and that weird hissing sound you can hear in the background in my boiler running. I'm going to have a bath to relax and then start a fresh week tomorrow. Admittedly, I've not had the most productive week prior to this and um, it's taken me a little bit of time to kind of get back into doing videos and getting back into a good working schedule again after sort of taking a few little breaks and being away and out and about quite a bit. This week I'm hoping to kind of knuckle down to things again a bit more and in particular plan out my workload for the next um, couple of months really leading up to Christmas because I would like to take a bit of time out guilt-free time out over Christmas to see family and friends and to have a nice little holiday. At the moment I'm aware that I have a lot of things that need doing but not but it's not clearly defined in my own head when they need to be done by, how long they're gonna take and when I'm actually gonna do them, which is when you kind of get overwhelmed and panicked and as you would have seen before, it's when it leads to stupid working hours and schedules and just burning yourself out which I don't want to do again. So before I start getting into the habit of putting things off and just kind of oh just doing things when, when whenever <laughs> when the time is right I'm gonna schedule out my work a little bit. I've got quite a few things to do this week which I'm excited about. I'll be going to the chip shop in Sirencester again later so um so uh, my desk has just accumulated so much crap again. <laughs> ah, so these guys, who I did the flyers for previously, I need to do a few updates to this. I'm going to go over shortly to pick up their menu boards where I can work on the design for them. Also, I hope to pick up my lunch from there as well. <laughs> and um, So that's going to be my project for probably the next few days working on that. It's not, the design itself isn't going to be too too complex so it won't be quite as illustrative as say the Christmas boards that I did for the Arts Centre but it's going to be a lot of, because it's a, a menu, it'll need to be very, it'll be a lot more clear legible writing and just making sure everything is measured out so it all looks neat and it all fits okay and it looks well designed and placed. A lot of, it's going to be a lot of maths basically to start with before I can get into the really fun stuff so, so what I'm going to do now is clear all the weird stuff that's sat now <laughs> it's just kind of found its way onto my desk and then do a bit of planning and get the week off to a good start. It's going to feature chips in a couple of hours so you know that's already a fairly promising sign. <laughs> second coat of blackboard paint just to make sure that none of the original writing comes through and uh, what I've got here is a small gloss paint roller which I find the easiest really to apply the paint and also it gives it quite a nice texture to write on it gives it like the smoothest most even texture with um, like just a slight bit of bite to it so it kind of pulls any kind of chalk and the chalk pens a little bit just so it's got more a bit more friction on the board so it's easier to write on. These are also really cheap to buy, so if you do get through quite a few of them, they're not too not too tricky to replace, and you can buy the sponges separately as well, so it makes it a bit more economical and environmentally friendly. And I've got to do this one now, and it's getting quite warm actually because of the hair dryer, <laughs> right?
it's about quarter to 11 on a Friday morning and I've just finished off these menu boards for the Seafair Fish and Chip Shop and I've got approximately 20 minutes to get these wrapped in bubble wrap, shuffle them to my car and then delivered. So it was a bit of a, it wasn't all night, I've had about two hours sleep, which is um, why there isn't any footage of me drawing this because the, sc the screen will have cracked and I'm behind the camera at the moment because I am feeling it a little bit, but really happy with this and I am going to get them all wrapped up and get going. To these guys. Right, I've uh, just had my lunch of a nice portion of chips, um, a lack of sleep and the massive carb bomb. <laughs> I don't think it helped me feel particularly even any more perky, but um, I'm gonna get my stuff packed up because I'm going over to the Asparagasm hub to meet up with uh, my clients, one of my clients, and um, have a bit of a general catch up before she goes away on holiday about what design and marketing she needs. and. Um, trip there usually involves coffee and some kind of snack so so hopefully that'll perk me up a little bit and um yeah i'm gonna get my stuff packed up and head over there